mute everyone so do unmute yourselves if you have a question to ask and I also do have uh, a couple of polls here uh, where you'll have an opportunity to answer those questions um, if you do unmute yourselves please uh, keep the volume down and uh, I'm going to start by sharing my screen with you and the topic today is all about inducing a favorable discard so different situations let me just get the right screen different situations where you can play in a certain way to try to get the opponents to discard something that will be helpful for you so let's have a look at this hand here where you opened to no trump uh, I hope you will agree with that opening bid. Even though you've got nothing in clubs, it really is the only bid that will accurately describe this hand, a balance 20 to 22 points. Your partner uh, bids three no trump, and that ends the auction, and the opponents lead a club. Okay, so a club is led, and I'm going to ask you a question about this hand in a moment. Let's suppose you play the queen, it loses to the ace, and they play a club back, and let's suppose they, uh, you take the second trick with your king. And the question for you now is, which suit are you going to play next? And there's going to be a poll on this, so don't answer verbally. The question is, after you've won the king of clubs, in which order are you going to play the suits or doesn't it matter so i'm going to launch that question now and have a go at answering that question which suit are you going to play now and if you're on an ipad you might um the the question can obscure the screen but you can close the poll and reopen it um, if it's obscuring your view. So let everyone have a chance to have a go at answering this. And I'm going to share the results with you. Um, so I'm going to end the polling and share the results with you. 82% actually have voted. And the overwhelming majority have gone for diamonds. Okay, with a couple of people going for hearts. And that is, of course, the right answer. 93% uh, of you have gone for diamonds, 7% for hearts. And, of course, that is the right answer. Um, I mean, you could play the hearts first, but if you think about it, you've, you're always going to make four diamond tricks, aren't you? Um, but you have some hope to make four heart tricks you you've got one club in the bag you're going to get one spade you've got at least three hearts and at least four diamonds so i think that comes to nine tricks one two three four five you can make nine nine tricks for sure and where can you get another trick well it's in the heart suit the hearts may divide three three in which case you're seven of hearts will win a, a trick. And the best thing to do is simply to play the diamonds early. Why? Because someone may have a four card heart suit and may discard from it. And that may give you a fourth trick in hearts. So what you're going to do is play the diamonds. And as you play them, you're going to watch what the opponents play. You can see here that the hearts are actually divided four, two. So you can only ever make three heart tricks, but West might discard one. And if you play the diamonds first, which is sort of fairly normal behavior here, um, as you play the diamonds, as we play another diamond here, West will come under pressure because they don't really know what to discard. They quite like to keep their clubs because they're all good. They quite like to keep the Jack of Spades so it protects the King, so the King won't fall so they may well decide to discard a heart and if they do discard a heart now you'll be able to make an extra heart trick 
you may as well keep playing play off your last diamond here east might discard a heart west might discard another heart and now you're virtually certain you're going to make four heart tricks so you play your hearts and uh, you can make uh, another extra heart with a seven as well as your ace okay that's going to be it i'm afraid after that but you'll make uh, ten tricks instead of the nine tricks that you you would have made. Anyone have any questions or comments on that? Well done, everyone. That was a relatively straightforward one. Um, but you can see that if you started off taking your three hearts, um, West would then keep his jack of hearts because he'd know that um, you know that's potentially good. So. So play the diamonds before the hearts as a way of getting a favourable, uh, giving yourself a chance to get a favourable discard. Okay, do interrupt me if you have any questions. I've got another um, poll on you uh, coming up on this one. I've only got two today, but this is a, I may have another one, I'm not sure. Um, here's one of uh, how you would bid here. And this is assuming you're playing transfers. And South here has opened one no trump. You bid two diamonds, which is a transfer to heart. So your partner bids two hearts. And the question for you is, what is North's rebid now? After two hearts, West passes. What? And there's a poll coming up on this. What should North bid now? So I'm going to launch that poll. And you tell me what you think North should. Okay. So um, we're up to um, over 80 percent and I'm going to end the poll there and I will tell you the results. You'll see these in a minute, but I will just uh, share the results with you. And uh, one person went for two no trump, five people went for three hearts, 12 went for three no trump and 13 went for four hearts. OK. And uh, I have to tell you that the majority here are wrong, okay? The correct bid here is three no trump, which 39% of you uh, got right. This is how you show a hand with a five card major. You transfer to the major and then you rebid no trump. Here, you've got enough points for game opposite one no trump. So you rebid three no trump, and that's how you show a hand with exactly five cards and enough points per game. So the right bid there is three no trump. Four hearts is wrong. Four hearts would promise a six card suit because you know your partner has is guaranteeing a doubleton in every suit. So you only have an eight card bid in hearts if your partner has. Um, uh, has three or more hearts for you. So the right bid here is three no trump. And if I bring up the south hand, south would pass three no trump because they've uh, your partner has shown a five card heart. So you've only got two. And unless you have an eight card bit in a major, you're generally off better playing in no trump rather than in four hearts. Any questions on that? Tony, could you not have said three no trump in the beginning? You could, but you would have missed out on a heart fit if you had one. So okay. generally speaking, if you have an eight card fit in a major, you will be better off playing in the major than in three no trump. So that's why you know you, you always try to find a fit to either with stamen or here if you've got a five card suit, you either bid the suit if you're if you are not playing transfers or if you're playing transfers you bid three uh, two diamonds and then rebid three no trump over two hearts Tony, could you bid um, four hearts if you had six cards and yes the same exactly five exactly if you if you had a six card suit you would be right to okay. play it in hearts because you know your partner's got at least two hearts but with a five card suit you should be bidding three no trump here, not four hearts. But then, Tony, would you have said four hearts without going to transfer? OK, so this is the bidding sequence if you are playing transfers. If you are not playing no. transfers, yeah. 
it would go one no trump, three hearts. Three hearts, Which is yes. a forcing bid, telling your partner you have exactly five cards. Right. And your partner would then either bid three no trump here, as you've only got two, yeah. or four hearts. So you'd end right. up in the same contract. Okay. okay. So it's all about trying to find an eight card bid, if you have one. All right. Okay. But I see that that's a common mistake, and I can see it was based on that poll that with a five card suit they bid the suit twice. I mean, the, sorry, they, they transfer and then and then raise the suit two hearts. But that's not correct. It, the, the right bid there is to rebid three no trump. And if your partner has three or more hearts, he should go back to four hearts. Here he doesn't have that, and he's just got the. Um, he's just got the two, two cards, so he leaves leaves it in three no trap. Okay. Any well, comments? Wouldn't get, wouldn't, yeah. Wouldn't some people be tempted to do stamen before going three? Yeah, hours? that would be another mistake. <laughs> okay. So, 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 so the the way you show a five card major is by playing transfers, and I know a lot of people would make the mistake of. Uh, using stamen on this hand, but stamen won't uncover um, a 5-3 fit. Tony, if you did have six hearts and enough points per game, yeah. would that be okay just to go to four? Yeah, yes, four. that would be the right right bid, okay? If, if you And the other bid that some people made is three hearts. Um, so if you, if you transfer and then bid three hearts, that should be showing a six card suit with about 11 points. In other words, you, you want to invite game, but say you have six, uh, you have a six card suit. So there, there are all these bids are possible, um, but the right one here is three no trap. Okay, no more questions. So let's have a look at this from Declarer's point of view. Um, and you're in three no trump. The opponents lead the king of clubs. Have a, a, a little count of how many top tricks you have. There's not a poll on this one. Just tell me how many top tricks you definitely have here. Eight. Nine. nine. I think it's nine, isn't it? It's three spades, three nine. hearts, two diamonds, and a club. So you're, you're definitely going to make your nine tricks. Do you have a chance to make any more here? Anyone like to suggest where you might find an extra trick or two? Yeah, the club. The club? Is that what you mean? You're hoping to make an extra club trick? I think it would be heart. Uh huh. Or Sp spades or hearts if they split. That's three. it. Spades or hearts. That's right. Yeah. There's a chance in both suits. Actually, what you're hoping for most of all is that in both suits you have seven cards. And you're hoping that the missing cards divide 3-3. Three, three. And if they do, you'll make some extra tricks. In hearts, you could make five tricks if they divide 3-3. Three, three. And in spades, you could make an extra trick too. Um, so let's see. That, so those are my, my options. And what we're hoping is that as we play one of the suits, that even if they don't divide 3-3, three, three, that the opponents discard something that will help us. So if I bring up the four hands here, you can actually see that neither major divides evenly. Okay, there's a bit of background noise there, so I'm just going to temporarily mute everyone if you'd like to uh, uh, unmute yourselves if you wish to talk. Um, so you can actually see that um, neither major suit divides evenly. They're both divide 4-2. So you might play this by, for example, um, if you win that first one, suppose you start on hearts, you play a heart, winning in the short hand, then cross over, then you play the queen, and you're hoping they both divide evenly. They don't, okay? So maybe you turn your attention to spades, hoping they divide evenly. Again, when you play the third round here, West discards, so that didn't work either. Um, so you're probably just going to make nine tricks. You play your diamonds, and you're probably just going to make nine tricks, unless the opponents have slipped up somehow. Uh, you'll just make your nine tricks there, because neither suit divided 
favourably for you. Could you have done any better in that one? Well, one thing you can do on a hand like this is not necessarily take the first trick with the ace of clubs. In other words, um, this is like sometimes we're used to ducking in no trump, and that can be useful if you are in danger of losing the lead and you want to um, keep, the, keep one opponent off lead. It can also be useful in a situation like this, because by ducking, you are um, tightening up the hand. You're making it harder for the opponents to hang on to the right cards. And let's just suppose you decide to duck twice. You let them win the first two tricks. And then you turn your attention. And then if they carry on with that suit, let's suppose you win that one with the ace. Well, now what you've done, what, see what happens if you now play it as you did before, starting with the ace of hearts and then another heart. Now when you play the third heart, if you look at this from East's point of view, East really has a problem about what to discard here. He doesn't really know that you've got spades in your hand. There, there was no clue in the bidding about that. Um, so he doesn't really know whether to discard the dime, um, diamond or the spade there. And without any real clue, and because he's got no clubs to discard, um, he might discard a spade. And if he does discard a spade, then that's good news for you. Now, when you play three rounds of spades, the jack falls, and if you're counting the spades, you'll know that your five is also a, uh, a good trick there. Okay, So you can make one extra trick there. Uh, probably after this, you're probably just going to make your two diamonds, unless West discards a heart. Um, you'll make one extra trick there. So that was an example of um, ducking to tighten up the hand, to, to make it harder for the opponents to, to find things to discard in the hope that they will discard something that will help you. Interrupt me if you have any comments or questions on that. Otherwise, I'll go on to this one. This was a, a hand that was actually played some time ago, uh, just before when we were still playing face to face. And here South opens two no trump, and North just raises you to six no trump. I like that bid um, because North has got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's it? One, two, three, four. I'll count again. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points. Opposite a minimum of twenty to twenty-two. So you almost certainly have enough for a, a small slam, but not a grand slam. And just go straight to six no trump here. You don't really want to be um, thinking about asking about black uh, aces here. You don't really want to be playing this in clubs. Just go straight to six no trump. And let's suppose your opponents leave the jack of spades. Let's stop for a minute and... See if you can tell me how many top tricks De Clara has here. Eleven. There's an eleven from Steve. Any other thoughts? Yeah, I think it's eleven, isn't it? It's, eleven. It's three spades, two hearts, four diamonds, and two clubs. You have eleven tricks. And you can see that you're going to make this contract now because the worst that's going to happen is you'll lose to the Queen of Clubs. And, um, but you'll be able to make at least, well, you'll be able to make one more trick in, in clubs here. So um, the, the club situation is interesting because there are different ways you could play this. Um, you have eight clubs. So the odds favor trying to finesse. Um, and you actually could finesse either way. If there were any clue as to who had the Queen of Clubs, you could try to finesse to avoid losing to the Queen. Because we're always trying to make, if we can avoid losing to the Queen, we can make 13 tricks and maybe get a very good score on this one. Um, but what we're going to do is um, not play the clubs right away. Let's suppose we win this uh, tricks 
to start with. What we're going to do is play off some of our other suits, in particular diamonds. And as we play the diamonds, we're going to see if someone discards a club. We're keen to see if a club appears on any of these tricks, because if it does, then it's more likely, I think, that that person doesn't have the queen. So we keep playing diamonds. No one's discarded a club yet. But as we play the last diamond, West discards a club. And if we bring up the four hands, we, we, if we move it back one card, you can see that as you play your last diamond, East discarded a heart, and West has to discard something. And West doesn't really think his clubs are any use at all here, so he may well decide to discard one. And when he does, it gives you a clue that maybe he doesn't have the, uh, the Queen. It means it's more likely that the Queen is in the East hand. So we can play the clubs in such a way to... Uh, on the assumption that East has the Queen there. And so the way to do that is you might start off with the Ace and then lead the Jack. And if East plays low here, you cross your fingers and you play low. And if you're lucky, the Finesse will succeed. And now you can draw that last um, club. You can cross over to Dummy and take your remaining clubs and make all 13 tricks now. So just by playing your, your diamonds first, there was really nothing to lose by doing that. And just by playing that first, you may gain a clue as to who's got the queen of clubs. Of course, if East had discarded a club from the queen 5-2, then that's either an exceptionally brilliant or an exceptionally bad play. Um, you can... <laughs> You can take it either way. But but most defenders will, will sort of try to keep that club holding in case the queen can make a trick. Whereas they're much more likely to discard from uh, two low clubs over there. By the way, um, I'd be careful about cashing too many tricks. Don't cash all your tricks here, like your spades and your hearts. Because if you do, then if your opponents do get in with the queen of clubs, you'll have set up tricks for them. To take, but it's quite safe to take the four diamonds because you won't be under any discard pressure. Um, but the opponents may well be. Any comments or questions on that? Penny, could that six of clubs discard not be an, a signal that they want a club back? <laughs> so when Declarer is leading a suit, the cards that the defense plays is never really going to be a signal about whether they like that suit. Um, in other words, you know, declare us leading this suit, and there's no way you, you should be giving a signal about whether you have a high card in the suit or not, um, even if you can. The, the, only, the signal that you mainly give in a situation like this is a count signal to tell your partner whether you started with an even or an odd number in that suit. But here that doesn't really apply either. And if I were West, I would just play, you know, any club you like. It's not going to be of any use to your partner um, uh, to, to give any kind of signal. But, you know, it will be, I, th I hope you can see, especially looking at Dummy, that both defenders should realize that they are not interested in the club suit. OK, that it's Declarer who's, who's interested in the club suit. So if anything, you want to keep your holding hidden. You don't want to give any clue to Declarer about what you're holding the clubs. Any comments on that? OK, let's try this last one. This is actually based on um, a hand that was uh, played last week. Um, and let's see what we make of this. Um, this is how the bidding might go if you are playing Jacoby to no trump. Now, not of all of you play that, but um, this bidding sequence gives up on the natural meaning of to no trump in response to one of a major. It is something I've, I've talked about a couple of times, and there is a video of it if you want to watch that. But it's uh, quite a useful convention 
to allow you to investigate a slam when you know you've got enough for game in a major, rather than just going, say, one heart, four hearts. You bid two no trump, which is artificial, and it says, partner, I've got um, enough for game, I've got four hearts for you, and, I, and you can now make a variety of bids which describe your hand. Um, don't worry about it if you're not familiar with it. I'm not going to go into it in detail here, but here the three diamond bid shows a single to nor void in hearts. That fits in very well with North's hand. And let's suppose they bid four no trump, which here they're playing as Roman key card Blackwood. So four no trump says how many um, uh, key cards do you have? Here South has got two aces, okay? But they also have the Queen of Hearts, which is quite good news. So the correct response for that is five spades, right? Again, if you don't know that convention, don't worry about it. And you end up in six hearts on this one, okay? So one way or another, you may reach six hearts on this hand. And let's have a little think about this. If we look at this from the point of view of the South hand, Let's try and identify where we might lose tricks. Well, we have a potential spade loser, don't we? Although I'm sure some of you are thinking maybe we'll be able to rough that one in dummy. We don't have any heart losers. We don't expect to lose any diamonds. Um, do we have any club losers? Yes, you have one. No. Yeah. Well, no. Well, the, the answer is it depends, doesn't it? It does, yep. We have seven clubs. So if the missing clubs divide three, three, we'll make all the clubs. Um, but if they divide four, two, uh, and the opponent who has four clubs keeps them, then we're going to lose one. You might be thinking maybe there's a chance to rough a club. Um, and that is would be possible, but I think we're going to have to draw trumps first, okay? So, in other words, if you were to try to play the clubs early now, um, it would be a bit of a disaster because you're very likely to, to suffer a, a rough there um, because, you know, you'll have to play four rounds of clubs or three or four rounds of clubs. So um, the spade rough is sort of e is easy. We can, we can make take that now or take that early, but the club rough will only be possible if we have rough, uh, sorry, if we've already drawn trumps. So let's see how this one might go. Um, let's suppose we win the first trick. Now, you could start by drawing trumps here, or uh, you may feel you wish to rough that spade first. It's very safe to rough that spade early on because you've got very few spades. So let's suppose you do that, rough that one. And let's suppose you now start drawing trumps. You play the ace, okay, and everyone follows to that one. And what you're hoping is that you started off with nine trumps. You're hoping that the opponent's hearts divided evenly. If they do, you'll have a heart left in dummy after you've drawn trumps to be able to rub a club with if necessary. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen here, okay? So there's still a trump out, so we don't want to risk playing the clubs yet. We're going to draw that last trump. Um, and, well, we're still going to make our contract here. The only possible loser we have is that fourth club. But what I want to do is to give the opponents every chance to discard a club if they have a, uh, a four-card club holding. So... This is what I'm going to do to uh, do that. I'm going to maybe cash the Ace of Diamonds and then play clubs. And let me just bring up the four hands at this point. And you can actually see that he started with four clubs here. Um, so I'm playing the club here and I'm going to carry on playing a club to get back to my hand. And now before I continue with clubs, I'm going to cash my last two trump. And as I do that, I hope you can see that East comes under great pressure here. He might discard a diamond, but when you play your last trump, he doesn't really know what to discard. He doesn't really know what you've got in your hand, and there's been no real clue 
um, in the bidding about what you've uh, what you've got left. Except if he were really listening to the bidding, he would know that that three diamond bid showed a single turn. And if if he was aware of that convention, he could actually realize that you don't have any diamonds left, and he could hang on to his clubs. But not knowing that, or if he what didn't didn't think back to the bidding, sorry, there's a bit of noise there. If he didn't think back to the bidding, he might decide to throw away a uh, club. That's what happened on this hand. And now Declara can make the last two club tricks and can make 13 tricks on that one. Yeah. Okay. So um, there was a clue in the bidding here, if, if East was on the ball, that South did have a singleton and... Um, and East really should have thrown away the diamonds. Um, just go back to this point here. If we, a lot of people on this hand, after cashing the Ace of Diamonds, instead of playing it as we just played it, just playing the clubs, a lot of declarers will have a great urge to play a diamond here, which they can rough. Now, although you can rough here, uh, it's not gaining you any extra tricks. You're, you're always going to make two heart tricks here with your last two trump. And if you do rough a diamond, all you're doing is you're sending a message to the opponents to say, opponents, I don't have any more diamonds here. Okay? And if you do that, it's, it's like you passed a note to East saying, East, I have no more diamonds here. And if you do that... It doesn't gain you any extra tricks, and it makes it easier for East to hang on to the clubs. Because now as you play the, um, uh, if you play your last trump here, East should realize that Declarer has no more diamonds. He's already roughed them, and he should happily throw away the King of Diamonds. Uh, and now he'll hold Declarer to 12 tricks. He'll make the, uh, the last trick there. Okay? So... There were a couple of clues there, one in the bidding, uh, which might get forgotten about, but the other important one is, is not to rough diamond in your hand. It does not help. It just tips off the opponents as to what to hang on to, which is clubs here. Any comments or questions on that? Without Jacoby, how would that bidding go, Tony? Well, it would be very quite tricky, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I mean... You've got, what, uh, 17 points there. So it's quite hard to know whether you've got enough for a slam or not. I would probably bid to two diamonds and see what my partner responded. Um, unfortunately, on this one, your partner will probably just rebid two hearts. Um, one, two, five, seven, because they've got a minimum hand. And then, you're, then it's hard to know. I mean, in fact, without Jacoby, it's hard to know that you really want to be in a slam here. Um, I think when most people played this, they were not in a slam. But nonetheless, you want to try to make 13 tricks if you can. Jacoby's very useful here um, in you're able to show your singleton and, uh, and, and with 17 points and a, and a useful holding diamond it's opposite that singleton, North would definitely be thinking about a slam here. Tony? Yes. Tony, how many points do you need for to respond to J Jacoby? To, uh, it shows um, uh, enough for game. So it could 12, be 12, 12, yeah, thir yeah, twelve or thirteen points. Let's say. But you've got to have the four. It four should be a four, yeah, four card yeah. Uh, support. Yeah. Okay. You have to alert it, Tony, as well. Yes, the two no trump is, is alertable, and all the other um, bids in response to that are also alertable. And what do you say for that? Uh, so you say, um, so on, on BBO, you would give an explanation. You would say, Jacoby 2, no Trump. Uh, you type Jacoby 2, no Trump. And then the other bids uh, after that, well, I, I would normally just alert them and then uh, give an explanation if, if asked. I hope that's no one calling me about bridge. I I, I wish I could turn this phone off. <laughs> Tony, yeah. I I played um this morning on an EBU competition and yeah. 
the opponents did bid Jacobi, and they were very good actually because they didn't just say Jacobi, they said um, four card support for hearts and enough points for game. Yes, okay, that's even better. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, so do do say something like that if you can. Yeah, that, yeah that's a good suggestion. Yeah, but but I mean, all the responses after that, you you should you should describe them all, and you shouldn't assume that the opponents know what to uh, Jacobi is. Yeah. Interestingly, he, he replied with a club and, and explained it as splinter rather than singleton, but, yes. you know, thing. Yes. Well, it's a, a singleton or void, yeah, so it's like a yeah. splinter. Yes. Okay, anyway, that was, um, uh, I thought, uh, an interesting one of, um, you know, just trying to get the opponents to, to discard something to give you an extra trick there. Um, so that was it on that. Um, any other questions or comments? We're on BBO today and um, we'll be starting in about 20 minutes. So if there are no more questions, we'll end the call there. And um, I'm available to play if anyone needs a partner. Either let me know or go onto the partnership desk. And um, if you want to play and don't have a partner, just go there and I will uh, join you there and ask you if you need a partner, okay? Anyway, thank you all very much, and we'll see you all at uh, 2 o'clock on the BBO today. Uh, thank you, Tony. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much, Tony. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.